Stoudemire. Mighty Mouse is Stoudemire's nicknamed. Practice with the team for the first time today. Shooting around with uh, Timmy Duncan a little bit. Now, as you probably heard by now, he comes over from Memphis after the Grizzlies fought out his contract, and timing couldn't be better. Here's Stoudemire with uh, Timmy right there. Now, Tony Parker will miss at least the next two weeks, maybe more because of bone spurs in his left ankle. So Stoudemire will have a chance to contribute immediately. No, I had other teams that were, that were interested, obviously, but, you know, um, I think it was Wednesday, Wednesday morning, uh, Pop flew to Memphis, and that was pretty much, uh, I feel like I was in college again getting recruited <laughs> after that, so, you know, I, I felt like, you know, this man can get on the plane and fly to Memphis after they lost to Seattle, so he flew on a red eye across the country to come and then had to get back on the plane going for the game in Phoenix. I was like, can't tell nobody no after a ride like that. So I was like, yeah, you know, I mean, it was, you know, he sold me. He sold me by just doing that seriously because he didn't have to do that. He really didn't. Now, Stoudemire adding that he was probably going to join the Spurs anyway, but that move by Pop put him over the top. Stoudemire was part of that Portland team that Sean Elliott beat with the Memorial Day Miracle back in 1999. I'm not mad at Sean. He's a he's a wildcat, <laughs> so I'm a wildcat at heart too. So you know, I mean, he hit the shot, and you know, hey, that that's that's old news. I'm I'm trying to make something new happen now. So you know, hopefully, I can I can put one on my finger, and then hey, I I won't even think about that shot anymore. This may be very old, but I got to ask you: do, do people still call you Mighty Mouse? <laughs> Some people. Some people do, some people some people let that go though. But uh Do you like it? Uh you know, when I was younger I did, not so much anymore. I'm I'm a little older now, so Memo memo to the local sports guys, don't call you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just go by Damon. Let me ask you about about coming here from uh what you would call a fire sale in Memphis to a team that is the one of the perennial contenders. Yeah, it's definitely. Uh, I went from one day from from one end of, one end of the division to the other. Um, I know what San Antonio is is playing for and what they're shooting for. Hey, I'm just I'm just here and I want to help this team out any way I can. And you know, it just like I said, it just seemed like the best situation for me. Tony's the starter. Everybody knows that. You've been a starter your entire career. How do you adjust with a different role on this team? You just come out and play. You know, I, I knew that coming in here, so, I mean, it's not like going to be a big adjustment, you know. So, you know, I feel like coming off the bench, you know, I can, I, I can come in and get this team a spark. You were on a team that had a front row seat to when this whole thing started, that 99 Western Conference playoffs. Yeah. Woulda, coulda, shoulda a little bit sometime? Well, yeah, you know, we... We, we lost to San Antonio, and we came back next year and lost to the Lakers in game, game seven. So, you know, I mean, sometimes that window closed fast, man. And, um, you know, when you look at the Spurs, that, that's, what's, that's what's so impressive about what they've done here is that through everything that's happened, they've still been able to maintain excellence. And, you know, hey, I couldn't beat them, so I joined them, and I'm just going to help them out. <laughs> <You know what laughs> <I mean? laughs> Not to bring up the sore subject, but if, the, if, if that second free throw goes in game two that that's a that's a that's gotta be bitter does it still linger yeah i think about that's funny i think about that a lot you know i do you know i think going into that about 85 86 percent free throw shooter when i missed that shot but you know i mean i you know i can't really i can't really look back on it like that to be honest with you i'm just moving on you know i'm here now and it's a new, it's a fresh new start for me and i'm just looking forward to it most important question of all how much are you going to pay manu to wear number 20. <laughs> I didn't even ask. I just went to number three. <laughs> number three. Number three. I just went to number three. See, so I didn't even ask for it. So it's, I'm fine with it. I'm going back to three. Whatever pops into your mind. I've word association. Tim Duncan. Hall of Famer. San Antonio Spurs. Great organization. Great team. And Damon Stoudemire. <laughs> the perfect fit. <laughs>